Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name is Chris, and in this video, we're going to be testing out the night vision and IR capabilities of a couple of G3 cameras. So there is the standard G3 bullet camera. Uh, this camera runs about $157 on Amazon. And then we have the UVC G3 Pro, which runs uh, $299. I will put links to both of these cameras down in the description. And if you click on the icon in the upper corner here, you can see my daytime comparison of these two cameras to get a feel for how they work during the daytime. Okay, so in addition to these cameras, I'm also gonna be testing out the UVC G3 IR extender. So this is a device that um, says it can extend the IR range up to 25 meters or 82 feet. And this thing attaches to the front of the G3 camera. Now, I've never set one of these up, I've never used one of these, so I don't know exactly how it works. And honestly, when it says it extends the IR range up to 25 meters, the data sheets don't tell you how much the default IR range uh, extends or, or how far the default IR range um, goes. All it says is for the G3 camera, uh, under night mode, the data sheet says it has IR LEDs with mechanical IR cut filter. And in the same data sheet, the night mode for the G3 Pro says it has IR LED illumination and IR cut filter. So again, maybe you guys know what that means. If you do know, put that down in the comments below. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and bring the camera in close. We're going to pop open the IR extender and attach it to our G3 just to kind of see how it works. Okay, so there is no... IR extender option for the G3 Pro. So we're just gonna put that camera aside for now. And let's go ahead and pop this open. The IR extender, by the way, is uh, 7298, excuse me, 7248 on Amazon uh, as of the recording of this video. Okay, so pop it open. Uh, simple enough, we have our quick start guide and the IR extender itself. And so the IR extender is basically, well, let's pull off the plastic here. So it's basically this ring of IR lights, and then it has this little dongle on here that plugs into uh, the bottom of the G3 camera. And we'll actually look at the quick start guide in this case, because I'm not sure exactly how to install this thing. Okay, so first we have to pull out the shade or the hood. All right, I don't know if there's a... <laughs> I don't know if there's a trick to pulling out this sun visor, but uh, I'm gonna have to get a pair of pliers. Oh my goodness. I'm putting a lot of force into trying to get this thing out of here. All right, there we go. <laughs> that took a lot more force to pull that out than I was expecting. Okay, so there is our now naked G3. Uh, if you have the, uh, there's a little rubber cover that goes on the uh, accessory port down here as well. If you have that on, you would want to also remove that. Okay, and now we just slide this on like so. And it says, insert the LED ring until it locks into place. Now I pushed it on pretty hard. I don't feel like it locked into place and the screws I can still see. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to pull in those screws a little bit. Let me get my screwdriver. All right, so we're gonna pull out these screws just a little bit, and hopefully that gives us enough space where we can then push this on the rest of the way. Ugh, and it does not go down any more than I have it. Okay. And then finally, we want to attach the accessory so that we can power up the IR extender. Uh, there is a little bit to do in Unify as well, uh, but I'm gonna first get these cameras uh, back outside uh, so that we can actually do a night vision test. It's daylight out right now, but I'll do a night vision test uh, after hours. But first I need to get these back attached to the, uh, the pole outside. Okay, so that's all done. I have the UVC G3 with the IR extender on top, and I have the UVC G3 Pro on the bottom. So now the only thing left to do is just wait till nighttime.
Okay, that was fun. So what did we learn about the night vision of these cameras? Okay, so first things first, I recorded all of the all of the footage for that last segment. I recorded at high quality, 30 frames per second, and that camera, uh, the, uh, the footage came directly from Unify Video. So that was recorded from the camera, I exported the footage, and then brought that into Adobe Premiere Pro and, uh, you know, stitched it together. So I think the main thing I learned about the IR between these three different variants, that's gonna be the standard G3, the standard G3 with the IR extender, and then the G3 Pro, is that it really depends on the view distance that you're going for, right? So if you wanna find things, or if you wanna illuminate stuff that's further away, you're better off going with the G3 Pro or the G3 with the IR extender. However, if you need to see things that are closer up, you're better off going with just the straight up G3 because on the close up shots, on the further away shots, here you can see, this is me probably at about 20 to 25 feet from the camera. And you could tell who I am, it looks pretty good. Uh, if we switch to the G3 with no IR extender, same kind of distance, you can barely see me and you certainly would probably not be able to recognize a person at this distance with the standard G3. Now we go to the G3 Pro, it's the same thing. At the further away distances, you can actually see pretty well who's walking by the camera there. Now, the downside is, if we look at this footage, let's see, where's a good one? Uh, this one here, so this is the G3 with IR. Now notice, as I'm coming closer, you can see who I am. But, when I get too close, right about here, the IR is washing out my face, so you can't even see who I am once I'm very close to the camera. This is probably, you know, within 10 feet of the camera here. So, especially very close, nothing. All you get is a ghost <laughs> that looks like the a ghost walking past the screen there. So, again, it depends on the draw distance, the view distance. Let me see if I could find a G3 shot that was closer. So here's the GC, the G3 further away, like this is me wearing a headlamp. I think that was even the red light on the headlamp. Uh, and you, you can't tell that, I mean, you can barely tell that's a person, let alone who that actually is. And then let's see if we have any others there. I'm closer. Here's my drunk impression. Uh, I don't have any other G3 shots, I think, that are super up close. Maybe this one. So this one is probably 15 feet away from the camera. And you can see here that... Uh, you can tell you can tell who I am in that picture. So again, at that range, you can tell who I am. But again, about the same distance down here on the G3 with IR, my face is washed out because the IR is just too bright for that close of a distance. Now between the G3 with the IR extender and then the G3 Pro, in my opinion, they're almost exactly the same, right? So you get about the same viewing distance with either of those cameras. Um, I think the G3 Pro it has a little bit more clarity just by virtue of the fact that it's a higher quality lens. The camera is a bit better. Uh, but I think that in, for nighttime, it doesn't matter as much. I think in the daytime, so here's the G3 Pro, right? Let me see if I can get the G3 IR versus the G3 Pro. So here's the G3 Pro, and then here's the G3 with IR extender. Again, to me, they look about the same as far as the quality uh, of the night vision. Now there's a difference in price there. The G3 with the IR extender is about $214 and the G3 Pro is $299. So if what you're going for is night, uh, the ability to capture things at night and you're really looking to take advantage of the IR of these cameras, in my opinion, the G3 with the IR extender is a better value because the difference in price between the G3 with IR extender up to the G3 Pro is not worth the difference for the night vision aspect of it, okay? It's not worth the extra cost just for the night vision. The G3 Pro has other advantages, meaning that it can withstand, you know, cooler and warmer temperatures, and uh, and it has a better lens, and so daytime, the clarity is a lot better. I did a video on the G3 versus the G3 Pro. I'll put a link to that up in the corner. Okay, so one last thing I wanted to show you guys in Unify video, that is how to enable the IR extender accessory on a G3 camera. So here I have the UVC G3 with the IR extender plugged in. If we click on that, 
and then we click on the video section here. We have accessories, and under accessories is enable external accessory. You just have to flip that to on and save that setting, and your IR extender will illuminate the next time it gets dark enough. Okay, so that about does it for my testing of the IR of these cameras. There is one more thing that I'd like to test. Let me know if you guys have an interest in that, and that is something like this. So I bought this, this was about 20 bucks, and I just wanted to test it out. This is an IR illuminator, okay? I think it was 22 or $24 for this on Amazon. I'll put a link to this down below. Now, the, G, the, the IR extender for the G3 is about $72. This is $24. So my next video, or, or, or if you guys are interested in seeing this, uh, if I wanna do another video on nighttime IR, I'd like to see the G3 with the extender versus this guy and see if this $24 IR illuminator works better than the $72 IR extender that's an add-on to the already $140 plus dollar G3 camera. So that'd be interesting to find out. If you guys are interested in this, let me know in the comments down below. Any other questions or comments you have, please put those in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.